guys, welcome back to my channel, Mia Sketchbook. In today's video, I'm going to show some random footage and talk about my experience surviving and finishing block two of the Evolve program. And if you want to know more about Evolve, visit the link in the description and make sure you check out my Evolve playlist. So when I learned that proportional drawing was going to be the focus of block two, I was like, yeah, I got this. Before starting block two, I was already familiar with proportional drawing, even though I didn't know it was called proportional drawing. But a couple years ago, I was taking this marker drawing class and we were drawing buildings and the instructor was teaching us how to use our pencil as a ruler to get the correct proportions of the buildings, windows, doors, etc. I had never heard of that technique before, but it changed my life. I went from drawing buildings that look like this to looking like this. And for once in my life, my houses didn't look lopsided. The windows and doors all fit. So proportional drawing definitely made a big difference when drawing buildings. However, I never used it to draw objects in real life or from a photo. The method Evolve uses for proportional drawing is a little more methodical than the way I was taught in the marker class. You're given a knitting needle and a ruler to measure objects that are right in front of you. So the knitting needle helps determine the unit of measure and the roller is used to draw out your objects. In the beginning of block two, it's pretty easy because you start out measuring simple objects like spheres and cylinders. And it didn't take long to do the earlier assignments. I actually had some free time to work on other projects. But when setting up a still life, students are encouraged to keep the objects simple. It shouldn't take more than 30 minutes to complete your drawing. And as you advance through block two, your objects are supposed to get a little more complex. To be honest with you guys, I found proportional drawing to be very frustrating. I was like, oh, let me set up this still life. Let me take my measurements. Now let me draw it onto the canvas, etc., etc., etc. It took me longer than usual to complete the later assignments, and I think it's because I made proportional drawing more complicated than it really was. Some of my objects were too complex and they took too long to draw. And there were a few assignments I can think of where my objects were out of proportion. They were either too tall, too wide, or skewed. And another issue was that I wasn't just measuring the height or the width of an object. I was measuring everything on the object and there were so many measurements to keep track of. And I just got lost in all the details. But if I wanted to, I could have scheduled a one-on-one -on -one with an instructor, but I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, the feedback I received for my assignments confirmed what I already knew was off or there were things brought to my attention that I wasn't aware of and I was like, oh, okay, I, I see what I need to work on now. I think the main reason why I found the Evolve method of proportional drawing very challenging is because I'm used to drawing freehand. If you watched any of my acrylic painting time-lapse videos, you'll see that I draw freehand using a paintbrush directly onto the canvas. And if I'm just drawing something in general, I just look at its overall shape, like it's shaped like a square or a cylinder, and then I'll draw what's inside the shape. So I'm used to drawing freehand and intuitively. And while proportional drawing produced more realistic images, at the same time it seemed restrictive and time consuming to me. But on the positive side, I think I'm getting better at it and over time, I know my technique will improve and my drawings won't take as long. A couple of things that Block 2 made me think about is how I would like to make more dynamic still life compositions 
and what subject matter I'd eventually like to paint. I would like to do more still life paintings, but doing them from different angles, not just face on. And I would also like to learn how to make my own viewfinder and learn how to use it to help with composition. As for subjects, I would like to paint in the still life. I like everyday normal stuff, you know, like fruit, cups, spoons, forks, what have you. But I'd also like to have a theme or some type of story going on in the painting. And my favorite paintings I did in block two happen to be the owl, the octopus, the mermaid, and the rabbit tea party. I like cute stuff and I love the ocean, so I really want to start exploring more of those subjects. The advice I have for anyone starting block two is in the beginning, definitely keep your still life objects simple. And if you need help, reach out to one of the instructors. If you're looking for new or exciting props, you can go to a thrift store. Some of my props I got from Hobby Lobby and Blick Art Materials. If you want to paint fruit and vegetables, I highly recommend you get the artificial kind so that way you don't have to worry about anything spoiling. And if you want to know what I use for my shadow box, um, I get everything from a Ikea and I'll post the links in the description. And let's see what else. Um, yeah, I like the knitting needle for measuring. Um, but I plan on getting a metal one so it can last longer. And I really like the Evolve Ruler, and I'm going to look into getting it laminated so it doesn't get destroyed. But yeah, that was my experience with Block 2. I started sometime in February, and I finished in April. If you're a current or past Evolve student, what did you think of Block 2? I'll see you guys in the next Evolve video. Check out my playlist, and I'll see you later. Bye!